I welcome Australia's active engagement in maritime-related issues and concerns in the region. And we, the Philippines, thank Australia for expressing concern on the latest actions directed against the Philippines in the South China Sea. We join Australia on the call for peace, stability, and respect for the 1982 Law of the Sea Convention, or UNCLOS. We also reiterate our appreciation to Australia for supporting the Philippine hosting of the 12th ASEAN Maritime Forum and the 10th Expanded Maritime Forum held in Manila last December. We especially welcome the adoption of the ASEAN-Australia Joint Leaders Statement on Strengthening Cooperation on Food Security in Times of Crisis. As food security and nutrition during crisis are a common concern shared by all ASEAN member states. Today, we are closer to that vision of an economically integrated regional community as we look forward to the Philippines signing onto the second protocol to amend the, the agreement establishing the ASEAN Australia New Zealand Free Trade Area, or ANSTA, once we have finished our domestic processes. We are optimistic that this will provide fresh opportunities to improve the flows of goods, services, and investments between ASEAN and Australia. And finally, Mr. Prime Minister, we look forward to welcome you to welcome you in Manila to reaffirm our country's commitment to advance our bilateral relations to a higher 